Welcome to this mini workshop. Hi everyone, this is Marlene from Art by Marlene and welcome to this little video. I'm going to show you how to create this gorgeous little tag journal with my die cut paper tags, my little washi tapes and of course my beautiful acrylic paints. The die cut paper tags that I'll be using will be the funky one. They've got three different designs, so the one that I'm using is the funky one. These tags are made of 450 GSM, so they're quite sturdy, so it takes a bit of muscle to tear them out of there. You need about five pages to be ready to go. So I'll be using these 3M, what do you call it, I call them MacGyver tape, this is like the heavy duty tape and the previous journal that I showed you I made in a pink but for this journal I'm going to use a white tape so I'm just going to stick it down, I'm going to just measure a bit next to the tag and I'm sticking it um, onto my cutting mat and I'm going to cut it with a craft knife just in a while but I need about five strips of the 3M tape but it's a bit too thick so I'm going to cut it in a half in a while so I'm just going to measure how much I need and cut it off uh, stick three strips down and then I'm going to cut them in half So once you've cut all of these strips, it's very important that you put your two tags with the straight sides towards one another, align them and just make sure that they are very straight in the very beginning because um, if you don't align them right, the die cut pieces won't align later on and that is not what you want. So just take the time for your first alignment to make sure that it's perfect. You can see me struggling there. And then just let your tape go and just stick it down so you've got your first pages stuck together so there you can see it go if you don't have this 3m tape you can use a uh, washi tape you can use uh, masking tape for this it, this one is just very sturdy so you know your books won't warp or won't break in the future so but it's, it's an option always. Now my little book is secured on the inside but I now want to make sure that just the outer border, the backing is just secure. So one more strip of that tape and I will just make sure that my book is definitely secure and I know that nothing will break and nothing can damage that anymore. So just stick that on the back, turn it around, make sure it's sturdy and you are finished with the making of the book. And now I'm going to show you how do you decorate and disguise that and that's the fun part. So let's go.
I'm working with the Art by Marlene acrylic paints. This is in tube form and very easy to work with this technique. My paints dry quite quickly, but they are a perfect way to use this technique because you don't have to wait hours for it to dry. So what you do is you just drizzle on some color, just dot it around on your page. Um, I've done some of the Mermaid, that's the turquoise color, Happy, which is my yellow, and this is Mermaid, which is my pink. And it's very easy to dispense because you can use small quantities and like I said, perfect for this technique. So you can just going to put that color down as far as you want it to and choose colors that mix nicely together so you won't create mud. That's just a tip from me. <laughs> Look at your color wheel and don't put colors opposite one another from the color wheel next to one another. That is the easiest way not to create mud. So you'll need a bit of, bit of cardboard or a squeegee or a palette knife. I just, I'm, I'm just actually always using a piece of cardboard. I cut it to size and I'm just going to pull that color downwards. So just to collect the color at the bottom of the page, I'm putting a piece of paper down there and I'm just going to pull that color down onto my page because this is a very, very smooth cardstock that these tags are made from. Um, it's just perfect, so it'll just pull the color down without any problem whatsoever. So just have fun with it. So once your cover is dry, um, I'm going to add the washi tapes and I'm going to make sure to add some glue to those washi tapes and I have to tell you boy I'm totally in love with these new die cut washi tapes of mine so I'm just going to cut off what I need and I'm going to finish at the edge of a scallop and I'm going to stick it down there but I'm going to make sure I'm going to put some of the Art by Marlene sticky glue on the back just to make sure because this is the cover that with all the wear and tear when you use it it won't damage and it won't go off of the page so just a little bit on the back, on the edges, to make sure it sticks down really easily. I won't use the sticky glue when I'm adding the washi tapes to the inner pages because that is not necessary whatsoever. So just make sure you line that up on the edges. And look at that. And you've got your spine done. Look at that. Lovely. I'm going to repeat the process on the back and this time I'm going to use the pink one. The pink and the turquoise washi tape is one set and then you've got two tones of black, two different designs, black and white, that's in the other set and once again because it's on the outer pages I'm going to add a bit of that sticky glue. Sticky glue just like my paints are terribly easy to use and um, just always store them upside down, so nib downwards. That way the paint is always ready to use and you will never sit with clogged up paint. Okay, so let's speed it up a bit and let me show you the next pages. So I'm going to use a sponge to create with my acrylic paints, just a border with pink all around that page. Using a sponge uh, prevents the paints from seeping through to the edges because as you can see this is already dry almost. And I'm going to add some of that mermaid. I'm going to try and keep all of the colors and a bit of the bright spectrum so using a lot of pinks and blues and yellows in these pages. I'm going to do one um, other page I believe but here you can see me just sponging up and then I'm using a stencil. Those are my slimline stencils. This is from the newest Signature Collection in the March 2023 release and I will list them below if possible and otherwise you can always visit my website and those will refer you to all of the retailers that stocks my products. So let's go on to the next technique. For the next uh, technique I'm going to use the stencil. This is also part of the same um, slimline stencil pack that I used in the previous pages 
and I'm going to use those baby wipes you need about two baby wipes and I'm going to use a wet paintbrush and some of my Smurf paint that is that lovely blue and I'm just going to quickly apply that randomly to my page don't wait too long my paint dries quickly and then you take that baby wipe and you just um, wipe off all the paint in between the stencil and softening the edges a bit so you can see that don't over rub because then you will actually damage your paper and don't let your stencil sit too long because it will stick to your page so it's a bit of a, a balance between what you want to do and what you don't want to do there and just any residue of the paint just pull that off and go on to your next color so I've got a bit of that blue still on my paintbrush and I'm going to mix that with the ballet which is the pink and that's going to create a nice purple I'm adding a bit of azure that is that dark turquoise together and I'm following the same steps pulling off the paint once again creating that lovely floral design on the pages you can see me just pulling off the excess paint and just making sure that nothing's left on my page because then you will get all of the paint on the cover which you have decorated already and you don't want to damage that now for the edges you can see I'm using a sponge just to add the color to the edges that way I won't get any seepage through to the other pages and that die cut element will be nice and colorful without it being damaged For the next technique I'm going to really do a no-nonsense technique and this is really just just slapping on the paint with a wet paintbrush and just moving that color around so it'll randomly spread over your page getting a lovely painterly look and you can see I'm not going for a nice even coverage I'm trying to use a bit of the different colors that I've got on my palettes or on my uh, paintbrush and just smoothing those over getting those paintbrush stripes on and the strokes onto my page and getting and dry brushing it to the top of my page giving it a bit of a grungy look that is always and once your paintbrush is quite dry you can dry brush those die cut elements at the bottom don't use an overloaded paintbrush at the bottom because it will seep through the die cut elements to the other pages so that's definitely not what you're going for now and look at that grungy dry brushing effect I'm getting towards the top there and that is really what you're going for a nice painterly look next pages something that I always like is some rainbow coloring on the pages so just using a paintbrush pull with a wet paintbrush pull the paint down from one side to one to the other just clean it off a bit put your next color on top there in a stripe form and pull that color down towards the bottom once again don't be too careful about it just keep it a bit loose then we're going and once again you have to follow the colors of the rainbow a bit otherwise it won't work but then um, add your green to your yellow and your, yellow and your green to your blue that way you will flow your colors over so I'm going over to an orange now and the orange is also quite pretty with that yellow it just creates a bit of brightness then we can go over to a pink and from the pink we can go to kissy which is a pinkish red that we will play with so once you've pulled all the colors um, to one side to the other don't worry about the middle part because we're going to use the washi tapes over there so you won't be seeing that part at the end so there's kissy that's the final color that i'm adding to the page and then just pulling that color from one side and dry brushing the edges making sure I don't have too much paint on my brush and pulling it to the other side now with a sponge I'm using some purple paint because the next color after blue is the purple and 
I will be just sponging up that die cut element at the bottom just to make sure my page is finished off. Okay, now's the time to start adding those washi tapes. So we're going to decorate the spine with the washi tape so you won't see that other duct tape at the bottom. And I'm going to use different colors, so I'm going to use all the different rolls, the pink, the turquoise, and both of the black and white designs in this. So add them randomly and not thinking of your total outcome uh, for the very minute because we can change a lot of it later on in the process when we're actually going to de decorate our journal pages. Now once you've finished adding those washi tapes, you just want to take a sponge. I'm using these artist wedges. These are new in my collection the coming May, so keep an eye out for those. But just decorate the sides with a pop of colour, making sure that you create cohesive pages that creates a whole look together. And then it's actually finished, so you'll just, just put, flip through your little booklet Make sure you've got everything covered that you do want to be covered and then you are ready to go and to actually start creating those journal pages because your backgrounds are done. Thank you very much for watching this little video tutorial and I want to invite you to go to www.artbymarlene.nl and there you can find the retailer section. In the retailer section you can find a retailer near you where you can find all of the products. Thank you so very much. Until the next time, bye-bye.